Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we're gonna be playing another deck submitted by the viewer and my uh, friend from the um, before. He's not playing Boom Arena as of right now but he uh, was very active player uh, in the early days of it and that's why I'm gonna be playing this deck. Uh, it's gonna be the deck of the uh, Boom Arena fanboy or right now Bullseye, he kinda changed his nickname and he's gonna be uh, suggesting me to play some Brute, so pretty much his favorite archetype, shouldn't be surprised too much. My opponent will be counter playing me with uh, Dark Knight like uh, perfectly and I'm gonna be receiving a lot of damage and not getting a lot of in return because my opponent will be Jay who is gonna be very on point uh, with defense and yeah, like I've said, I'm not gonna be getting too much uh, out of my push, so uh, I think that's gonna be just a tough matchup, especially after this uh, first blood. I'm gonna play Brute in the back either way, even if he counter plays me with a Dark Knight, I think that's gonna be rel relatively uh, cool either way. His phone cake will get a lot of value, which uh, I don't think I could have prevented in any way, shape or form. I'm gonna actually play Poison and then I'm gonna play a Mar uh, Devil. I basically try to just uh, bridge him right now and if I get it, uh, I'm gonna be very happy uh, out of the results. I think right now the best play I can make is just play a Brute on the opposite side and quickly play a T-Rex and uh, yeah, I basically hope that I'm gonna get anything out of it. Uh, I'm gonna play Bomber just to mitigate some damage. He's gonna actually play a uh, late uh, Fawn Horde, which will be uh, nice for him, as uh, my T-Rex will be locked onto the tower and won't engage his, uh, his horde. So yeah, that's gonna be the basic uh, uh, premise. I'm gonna try to mitigate the damage from this uh, phone kick and that was pretty costly because obviously you'd rather play a mother devil behind uh, uh, behind the brute uh, which is what I'm doing right now so I'm gonna just play uh, my poison here uh, that's gonna be the best play either way because I kind of have to uh, kind of have to take the tower regardless and I think I cannot hold it uh, no matter what I uh, would do, so I'm gonna just uh, kinda suck the tower, try to m min max a bit, and uh, yeah, this Dark Knight will uh, rain havoc on my tower, so pretty much I'm right now all in, but I have a good way of uh, trying to go for it. I'm gonna actually avoid the uh, poison with a second Mother Devil. I'm gonna play some skeletons to kite the Dark Knight away from my push, and right now I'm gonna basically uh, hope that. Uh, yeah, my opponent won't kill me uh, in the counter push. Very good interaction, which is that Cyclone uh, kind of stops the Dark Knight from uh, instantly connecting to your tower. So that's going to be something I'm going to be using. Uh, I'm going to play Mother Devil just to counter his uh, phone kick and start up a new push. I'm going to play a Bomber as well. I'm going to right now play basically Brute and T-Rex uh, in the middle just to try uh, to... Uh, to get a push going. I'm gonna protect my brute uh, for as much as I physically can. These mother devils right now will put in work but I expect a poison to come in any second and he actually doesn't play poison so yeah I'm gonna actually get a win in the game number four one against I would say a pretty difficult opponent uh, with a very cool deck uh, submitted by uh, Bullseye so thanks uh, once again I'm gonna jump straight to the game number two. And right now we're gonna be actually facing my very old uh, friend that was also playing a Boom Arena very long time ago and actually he kinda makes his uh, comeback to the game. I, I wasn't seeing uh, him playing as of recently but here it is. It's gonna be Abwell and obviously he's uh, a fellow Brute player as well who this time actually will be playing a Mortar so uh, I've been practicing with Abwell outside of a Boom Arena and he has been playing a Mortar uh, for quite a bit and uh, he's getting decent at it. I'm gonna obviously uh, block this Digger. I'm gonna try to activate the Vanky Tower but I don't think it's gonna be possible. He's gonna get a very good interaction 
with the mortar just getting a free hits on my tower and frankly I think the best uh, uh, the best I can do in this position will be just ignoring his mortar and just going straight for the kill uh, getting like a mana advantage that I currently need and uh, just uh, yeah getting the job done in one push I'm gonna actually play poison here I think that's gonna be the best play I can make in the position uh, he will be willing to play poison uh, as soon as I uh, play a murder devil so I'm gonna just go on for the opposite lane and yeah he's gonna be playing poison instantly so I'm gonna just play bomber delete these fonts and pretty much guarantee myself a very strong push which I hope he's gonna have a uh, struggle to deal with, but actually he uh, gets away with the defense pretty well, so he's gonna get away with uh, a lot of things here. I'm gonna actually get his digger to the uh, viking tower, and actually I don't kite either of the devils, which is a huge blunder out of me, so uh, I would say not good. I'm gonna play T-Rex here, uh, basically trying to breach this mortar and he's gonna get a poison against uh, against my forces which is absolutely fantastic for him and atrocious for me because I still need to find the bridge so I'm gonna play a more devil once again a bit lower just trying to trick him into uh, he's gonna go for a poison here uh, I'm gonna play a brute just to tank uh, nothing wrong with that option. Uh, I hope that my devils will defeat his devils and if that's gonna be the case it's gonna be absolutely fine by me. I'm gonna actually just go for it right now. I would love this bomber to actually get a shot but actually I have a lot of devils alive so they will gonna do a lot of damage and right now I think I'm just in a poison range and that was an absolutely clutch game. Good game up well, but this time I'm gonna be taking the dub and that's gonna be pretty much how to bait a mortar with a brute. You don't always want to defend the mortar because uh, your opponent may be playing a 4 mana and if you ignore it you're just up 4 mana and if you're up for mana as a beatdown player usually can just uh, make very aggressive plays and even like take the tower in one push there which I would say was pretty much the case in this game since my opponent uh, wasn't having a response to a, a huge flood of uh, devils that uh, that was coming uh, right at his tower. So yeah, that's gonna be the game number two. Let's jump very quickly to the game number three. And in the game number three, we're gonna get a goal. The gamer sixty nine, where who has like two hundred and fifty seven medals, which is not bad of a score, but. Like you've seen, even in this video, we've already got some uh, higher numbers. I'm gonna play Skeletons and Cyclone just to uh, prevent all the damage and activate the Viking Tower. Very nice technique to know, as if you activate the Viking Tower against a Steelbait player, which it looks like we're gonna be facing right now, uh, you're gonna be having just a good time. I'm gonna ignore this far timing right now, because if I were to react, I would be like engaged in a very intense like micro battle in which I don't really want to engage because my deck is pretty much uh, made to play a mana collector and then play a and then to uh, play a brute and overwhelm your opponent and since this gonna be my game plan I'm gonna just stick to it not reinvent the wheel I'm gonna play brute in the back as I was supposed to be doing. If he plays the Swordsman on the opposite side, I'm gonna play T-Rex. If he doesn't, I'm gonna actually ignore this uh, horde because the T-Rex will be also very handy on the offense. And right now you pretty much see the uh, power of the activated Viking Tower. You pretty much uh, get away with uh, playing uh, this greedy as I do because you pretty much uh, don't uh, really have to defend. And my opponent will be actually playing a Dark Knight, which is which is kind of surprising to me because so far he has shown that he's gonna be playing Steel Bay and then he pulls out a Dark Knight and uh, yeah, obviously I had uh, more than enough mana to counter it, so it's not gonna be too big of a trouble. In fact, it's not gonna be a trouble because I'm gonna still fulfill my purpose of taking the tower down, and at the same time I'm gonna just 
use his Dark Knight to funnel my second push uh, into dealing a lot of damage because he doesn't respond to it very well. So I'm gonna just play another Mana Collector, obviously a good leverage for the future and my opponent will actually resign the game right here, which is like, I don't blame him, but at the same time I expected him to put more of a fight. And with that being said, we're gonna jump to the game number four, I'm not gonna like uh, force you guys to let see this three star. And our next opponent will be actually a zero metal, Soi Chino Chino, who I may be uh, pronouncing it wrongly, but he plays a foot monkey and that's absolutely perfect uh, reason for us to go for the brute uh, on the opposite side because he spent uh, two mana for basically nothing, so we get a two mana advantage. That's basically how beatdown works. Don't question my ways, it's the ways of the people that came before me and they definitely know what they were doing. He's gonna play a cyclone, so I'm gonna just play cyclone as well. Uh, I'm gonna get uh, some damage on my support troops, actually the Mother Devil will die and my opponent will get away with pretty nice defense because I expected to take his tower and I'm actually gonna deal no damage which is very surprising for me but at the same time yeah, he played it very well and he kinda deserves this perfect defense. So I'm gonna just play Mana Collector and if he has Symmetry, I'm absolutely ready because I'm gonna be having a... Okay, he's gonna be having a Balloon deck. So, uh, that was unexpected, but at the same time I have nothing... Uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, if this Balloon activates the Viking Tower, it's gonna be hilarious, but it's not gonna activate. I actually didn't know this interaction, so very nice to know. I'm gonna just set up the same push as previously and this time he's gonna be going for a drunker, I'm gonna just play a bomber as well. Uh, yeah, he's gonna be going for a drunker and I think he's gonna be, okay, he's gonna be going for a dark knight, which is a different approach that he, compared to what he have chosen uh, last time. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this dark knight uh, very easily and he's gonna get rid of my uh, T-Rex very easily as well. So I think we're kinda even uh, in this department. I'm gonna play another mana collector because honestly why not. He's gonna play a footman kick, probably trying to snipe my mana collector, but he should be knowing his interactions. If two towers are uh, not contested, uh, you cannot do it. I'm gonna set up another mana devil and right now he is uh, trying to get his uh, balloon. Uh, he's trying to get his balloon uh, to my tower and I'm gonna just activate the viking tower on the opposite side and right now I have enough mana to just funnel the push on the both sides and that's gonna be very scary for him to defend. I'm gonna actually play Skeletons here. I thought the Dark Knight will be willing to just uh, jump on my Brute but the Brute was dead so uh, the Skeletons weren't necessary. I'm gonna play the Poison just to seal the deal. Uh, I didn't even have to but like it's always more demoralizing for a pawn to just uh, see the banter spell and at the same time I just want to close this game as soon as possible. Honestly, Soichino put up a very nice fight I'm gonna actually give him a nice play for that because this game wasn't easy. Obviously, I barely took a damage, I just took one balloon hit uh, from I, when I actually wanted to activate the Viking Tower. But uh, yeah, he played very well and with better luck, I think he would be able to actually take this game from me. So yeah, that's gonna be the game number four. Let's jump to the game number five and wrap this video up. And our final opponent will be Orgulo Peruano, who is gonna be having a, a decent and healthy amount of males of 20, which means he has won at least two games of Boom Arena in his life. He's gonna start with a Super Ape and uh, explore, which is not too rare of a uh, composition to see in Bumarina. I'm gonna actually go for a brood. I'm gonna just sacrifice a bit of a, a damage because I didn't have like too good of a cards to defend this push and I'm gonna just counter push with all I have. I had two splash cards so Cyclone was a definitely best support spell to play it. Uh, I'm gonna get a tower down which is actually very cool to see. And I think I actually am enjoying this position. I'm gonna actually have to play something more demanding on this Necromancer as if I uh, 
was uh, not to play anything more, uh, it would be a very bad position for me. So I'm gonna just play Brute to tank for this Mother Devil and fortunately I get the tankage on both Viking Tower and a uh, Arena Tower and with that being said I think that's gonna be already a GG nice play. Yeah, my opponent left the game and that's gonna be the last game of the video pretty quick here but that's pretty much what you sometimes have to do with this type of deck. You don't like perfectly defend, like he committed a 6 mana uh, as the first push and I pretty much uh, lost the half of the tower, but then I had a very healthy units, uh, which uh, promptly counter pushed him and uh, it led me to the victory. So yeah, that's pretty much how you play this deck. I didn't play too much mana collector, but if your opponent doesn't have a good response to a mana collector, you can, you can pretty much... Uh, sit back, cycle some pumps and pretty much uh, zero upon self-destruct because if you get, basically get a mana advantage for free and you get a mana advantage through a good interactions, there's simply nothing your opponent can do and you pretty much just overwhelm him. So yeah, thanks for watching uh, this video of the deck suggestion. Once again, if you want to uh, see your deck played in my future videos, feel free to submit it in the comments down below because I would uh, really love to play some other decks than like meta and just popular decks in the community and you definitely uh, have some good ideas for me to try it out so yeah thanks for watching make sure to sub subscribe to my youtube channel if you aren't already because i post boomerang content every single day and you definitely don't want to miss it out and yeah on that note i'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of boom arena